Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. And we're going to talk today about a function of the radio that a lot of people have trouble getting their heads wrapped around, but it's really important, and that's tones. The first thing to remember is that tone applies to analog repeaters. This is not for your digital repeaters, although there will be a tone system that is digital. What we're going to talk about here today is analog. Tone is the function of the radio and the function of the repeater that gives you access as long as you know what that tone is. These tones are widely published today, so it's easy to find. But in the past, you needed to be a member of the club. And there may be some areas where you still need to be a member of a club to know what the tone is for the repeater you want to use. As I said, tone is the function of the radio that gives you access to a repeater. Or it's the function of the repeater that blocks all the calls that don't have the matching tone. This is generally not a function for radio-to-radio -radio communications. When set up correctly on the radio, which means you have the matching tone value for the repeater, you will be heard by others through the repeater when you transmit. That, of course, is given that you can hit the repeater. But you'll get things like the courtesy beep at the end and other information. Hopefully, someone will call back to you and let you know you are making it into the repeater successfully. When set up incorrectly, you won't get into the repeater. Nobody will hear you. You'll hear other conversations going on and wonder why you're being ignored. You won't get a courtesy beep when you try to key the repeater to see if you can hit it. All these things will happen, and generally it's tone that's not set up properly. But as I said, you'll still hear the transmissions from the repeater. So you'll hear the guys talking and wonder why they're not talking back to you. It's because they can't hear you. The two tone types we're going to look at first are tone and tone squelch. Now, you'll hear a lot of hams who have been hams for a long time talk about a repeater having tone squelch. There's a good chance it doesn't, that it is just a tone to get into the repeater. And if you hear that, you should ask them, well, is it just a tone to get into the repeater? And if so, what's the value? And they will give you a number. And your first experimentation will be with tone. And we'll look at how to set that up in the programmer in a minute. Because if you set it to tone squelch, and that's not correct, you won't hear anything on your radio. The audio won't come back to you. You get a visible signal on the radio that you're receiving transmissions back to you, but you won't hear anything. That's tone squelch doing its job. You'll also find DCS, decode, TDCS, detone, and split as tone modes in the RT systems programmers. And we'll talk about those a little bit later. Let's get tone and tone squelch taken care of. And I promise you, we'll take care of 99.9% .9 of all the repeaters you're going to use. So let's look at the programmer and get started. I'm going to work today in the Yaesu FTM 400 and the Bofang UV6R. I chose these two to show you two distinctly different styles for setting up tone and tone squelch. Let's start with the FTM 400. We have a frequency entered. 
we come over here to tone mode and we choose tone ctcss becomes active and i set the value that was given to me in general ctcss's will be given to you with a decimal in them 114.8 127.3, the exceptions being 167, those that end in a zero that you can see here, you'll get just the two digits. But in general, CTCSS is referred to with a decimal in the information that you're given. That's one way you know it's a CTCSS. This channel is going to transmit the 114.8 tone to the repeater so that the repeater opens and lets my signal through. And like I said, this is mainly for repeater operations rather than for simplex. This one, if I set it to tone squelch, I have one choice. I'll just pick 118.8 here. In this radio, and in radios where you see only one CTCSS column along with the tone mode, it's going to transmit the 118.8 tone. And it's going to use the same tone, the same value, to block incoming signals. I know that DCS has a value in it, but notice that it's grayed out and notice that I can't change it. It's not doing anything other than filling space in the radio's brain. Tone mode is the switch that turns on the function that you're using. Now let's look at the Bofang UV6R. A couple of channels to work with. And when I come to tone mode, I go to tone and I can pick from my CTCSS values. And the RX CTCSS is set to the same value automatically in the program, but notice it's not an active field. That's an indication that the radio is not using that value, not for this function. Today, you will be given information on repeaters and told that it has one tone in and a different tone out. This radio will do that. The tone in is the CTCSS and the tone out is the RX CTCSS. Now, let me explain something about using the Yaesu radio on the same repeater. You can't put two different tones, one in and one out. But the good news is you don't have to have the RX CTCSS tone set up. You don't have to have this set to tone squelch to be able to operate on this repeater. As long as you have tone, you are in like Flynn, and that repeater will respond to you and it will retransmit your message. Everybody will hear you and you will hear the repeater back. You may hear a little noise. You may hear a digital tail because there's fusion or something else on this same repeater. But for general radio use, those things aren't going to bother you. If you're using a headset or a helmet, it might be a problem and you're going to need to investigate further how to keep those things from happening. 
but for general amateur radio use, as long as you have the tone to get in, you're in. So two different ways to set up the same function. These radios have just expanded the function because in amateur radio, up until probably the last two years, we never needed split tones. Everything having one tone got the job done. And it's just times are changing and radios are changing. So now you know more about tone and tone squelch. We'll cover DCS and those other tone modes in another video, give you a chance to absorb what you've heard here. I hope it helps. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s, hear you on the air.